I'm a budget girl, I'm a budget girl, I'm a budget budget girl. I'm a budget girl because in this video, I am gonna share with you a 1600 calorie budget meal plan for easy weight loss. One of the most important things I needed on my weight loss journey was to have meals that were tasty and affordable because I needed to look forward to my meals while staying in a budget like most people that are watching this video. So I took my favorite foods that can be found at Walmart to show you some examples of tasty meals that you can make on a budget and meet all your fitness and weight loss goals. So let's get into it. And this is a 1600 calorie meal plan, but you can modify it to fit your needs if you are gonna try it. You can add or you can go a little lower. Let's get started for breakfast, French toast and berries. And what I like to do, this currently is the cheapest bread at Walmart with the lowest calories. This is the Villaggio. Two breads is 170 calories. It's the classic Villaggio. We like this one because it's nice and thick. It's got a lot of air bubbles in it, so it soaks up the eggs, but it's thick, so you feel like you're getting a lot. Yes, and one loaf of bread goes a long way. So two slices of that. And remember, we're in Canada, so any questions you might have about why we picked that one, it's because we have like three breads in Canada. Yes. Our choices are pretty limited in Canada and also our prices are fairly high. So your prices might be even cheaper. So it's a couple of bucks for the bread and then the egg whites is about $5 here, but that's Canada for you. So this is pretty cheap because we get the big carton of egg whites and one of these cartons will last me all week because I use a third cup with two slices of bread every day for breakfast. And if you want to add a few things to make it flavorful, the artificial vanilla extract from Walmart is pretty cheap. If you get the big one, it's about six, five, five bucks, I think. And then this massive bag of great value sweetener, it's no calorie sweetener and one, this whole bag is like 10 bucks and this lasts us like five months, lasts a very long time. A teaspoon of this, a teaspoon of that, and then a pinch of ground cinnamon. Mix all up your egg whites, soak your bread in it, cook it for, you know, three to five minutes per side. Top it with some frozen berries. Strawberries are super low calories, like a cup for 50 calories, I think. I do half a cup. This bag is $10 here, and we found if you get the differently delicious ones at Walmart, it's cheaper because it's a mix of sliced strawberries and whole strawberries and for some reason that makes it cheaper than the sliced ones. And frozen fruit is way more economical because it doesn't really go bad. You put it in your freezer and it lasts for like three months versus fresh fruit. So that whole meal is 280 calories and it will keep you full and it's cheap. Next one, this is one of our favorites in the very beginning of our journey, Greek yogurt and peanut butter with a banana. This is the great value, like the our finest is the Walmart brand, fat-free plain Greek yogurt. And you can add some sweetener and vanilla if you would like to flavor it. We always buy the plain because uh, if you get the flavored, it's a lot more sugar and carbs. So we prefer to keep it plain and flavored ourselves with a tablespoon of peanut butter. This massive jar lasts us three or four months and it costs like under $10. We like the crunchy. There's also plain in the big one. One tablespoon of that, half a cup of the fat-free Greek yogurt and a medium banana for a snack. You can mush it all together, or eat it separate. I personally like to dip the banana in the peanut butter, but sometimes I mush it together. 260 calories for that snack. Oh, and Sassy and I get like six or seven bananas for two bucks. That is like an entire week's worth of bananas. We are currently eating this lunch. It is really cheap and tasty and it's quick if you make it in the microwave. Potatoes, beans, and cucumber slices. So 
We've been having half a cup of these baked beans each. Not only is it good fiber, cause it'll keep you, it'll digest slowly, keep you full longer, good protein in there, good fiber. Half a cup, you get three servings in this can, so three lunches. And I know when we went, when we started eating better, I had a big problem with being regular and that those help those beans thing the, 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 those things help you the beans help and this is like under two bucks a can and so half a cup of the beans a medium potato we get the big bag this was three dollars and forty cents at walmart and this bag is lasting two of us it's feeding two people a potato a day and we're still gonna have some left over by grocery day if you can't find a medium one in the bag, if we're having small ones, we've been having two or one and a half small ones to make up for it. Just, you know, about this size. And we half never half beans. we never were crazy, crazy accurate where we measured everything out, but if you wanna be, you can measure out your potatoes or whatever. Yeah, so about a medium potato, half a cup of beans, microwave it in the microwave, and um, about one cup of cucumber slices and that keeps us full for a really long time. For that lunch, 316 calories. Then, we love pizza, we did not wanna give it up on our journey, and we found a really cheap way to make it, pizza buns, or you can use bread if you want, but um, I wanted to use these buns up that we bought from Walmart. These are just Bellagio hamburger buns, you can, open them up and make them pizza buns and bake them in your oven. So put on it whatever you want. We like to put some veggies, anything that's budget friendly, tomatoes, spinach, the canned pineapple from Walmart we like putting on there. We use the pasta sauce because it's way cheaper than pizza sauce and you get way more of it. So this whole can lasts Kyle and I more than a week. Cheaper on the calories too actually. It is. And we do a tablespoon Then per, pizza sauce. Exactly, a tablespoon per bun. And then a cheese slice on each of the halves of the bun. These are the fat-free cheese slices from Walmart. They're three bucks, but you get 22, so they last quite a while. Good amount of protein in those cheese slices Oops, too. Our ham is leaking. Yeah, actually those have like four grams of protein per slice. This is the Great Value Black Forest Ham from Walmart or whatever, Fresh Market. But it's Walmart and it's a really good price. You get two packs of this and one club size pack lasts us more than a week. Three slices, so we like to break it up and do one and a half per bun. Throw on your veggies, your sauce, your cheese, bacon in the oven, pizza buns, and with it, have some greens, two cups Whatever greens are the cheapest, this was two bucks. Um, it's already cut, washed for you. Two cups of that and Walmart always has a deal on their dressing. You get two of these for four bucks, I believe. So we always get the ranch calorie wise because it's our favorite. We don't buy the fat free because it doesn't taste the greatest to us. So we stick with calorie wise. And we use only one teaspoon and divide it up between the pizza buns to flavor up the pizza a little bit. And then for snacks, oh, that pizza and salad, 395 calories. Snacks, air popped popcorn, if you get an air popper and pop it yourself, 70 grams is about eight and a half cups. It's about 200 calories. And we put a little bit of the great value cooking spray on it, just a little, because the calories, it does have calories and they do add up with some salt and pepper and or not pepper why did i put pepper ew, ew. No, no we don't put pepper we don't put pepper salt i was gonna show the pepper because you can get it cheap at walmart if you want to add it to anything we don't put pepper on our popcorn salt a little bit of spray air pop popcorn that's a 200 calorie snack that's full of fiber that and this bag is like three bucks it lasts us a really long time we do like the microwave smart pop but the grocery stores Ten in the last three years tend to play games with the Smart Pop. Yes, yeah, sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't. I wanted to show the budget-friendly version of the popcorn. We get both. This is the cheaper form. You can get the microwave if you want, um, but this is the cheaper form of that. And then this in Canada is um, the club-size pure protein bars. 
These, uh, you get 12 in a box, and I think they're about 14 or 15 bucks. Now, we like things that are convenient, full of protein, that's a grab and go for us. So for us, it's worth a little over a buck a bar, I think. And these taste like a chocolate bar. So they're tasty, full of protein, and pretty cost efficient for us. Um, so we have one of these for a snack as well. And depending, they're either 190 to 200 calories. So this plus the popcorn. For this entire day, you're looking at about 1,651 calories. And not only is this like a really great base, what Kyle and I like to do is give ourselves a window. So I eat closer most of the time to like 1900 calories a day and I like to give myself a window. So this is a good base and then if I'm hungry, I'll add in a little snack to bump myself up to 1900 calories. And I'm at 2500 so I like to just be under that in case, in case I get hungry, in case I add a bit more here and there. Yeah, so what we like to do, that way we don't have to count calories every day, is we have an idea. This is like 1600 calories, so if I get hungry one day, I know I can add a 200 calorie snack or 200 calorie meal and still be within my calorie window to stay lean like this or to lose a little bit more if I want. So that's what works for us and you can figure out what works best for you and see if you like some of these budget friendly meals. Everything was purchased at Walmart and as cheap as we can find it in Canada. So hopefully you guys enjoy that and Sassy and I have both lost 130 pounds and kept it off for seven years. So, if you want to know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we have two weight loss guides. The links are down below. We also have a guilt-free cookbook. All your favorite recipes with low calorie without the guilt and extra calories. And we also have protein powder. This is the one that we use. And we also have a pre-workout that we use. There's tons of supplements. Check out, it's Greg Doucette's Harder Than Last Time supplement line. Link for that is down below. Or you can watch these two videos for free to make weight loss easy AF or easy as a baby seal in French. Google <laughs> it. Yeah. Hey, remember when you said you're a budget girl at the start? Yeah. Tell that to my bank account. I'm a budget <laughs> Don't listen to him. He's a sassy funny. You're so silly. Tell that to our credit cards. <laughs> Don't listen to him. He's funny that way. <laughs> Bye guys! I'll sing you in my microphone. Bye, your girl, bye, your girl. I was waiting the entire video for you to use that as a phone and you didn't. No, but look, it's a microphone. Bye, your girl, my budget your girl, my budget your budget girl. Here's another budget friendly microphone. Oh yeah, eat this plant, it's so good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bye guys. <laughs> the last two minutes I'm cutting out. <laughs> Just awful jokes. Karate and fruit and veggie, healthy karate. <laughs> See what I mean? There's <laughs> another one, gone. <laughs> you better turn the camera off before I do more funny stuff. <laughs> Well, that's why I have an edit button. It's all gone anyways. No one's ever going to see this last you four minutes. You know that you're cheaping it in and they're going to love this. <laughs> Don't forget to be a magician and push the subscribe button to help us get the real 100,000 um, subscriber plaque so we don't have to use this paper one anymore. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bye through it. You can do it. Don't give up.